Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1172. If you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, a couple videos ago in statistical video number 15, we saw how to create these dot plots. Dot plots just show, hey, here's the quiz scores from column 3 for quiz 3. And the dots mean how many people got a score of 5. Up here, how many people got a score of 4? 1, 2, 3, 4. Ah, but the count came from this column. Well, in that video, number 15, we did a different formula in each cell because each formula had to look at a different column. So in this video, I want to see how to create a single formula that looks up the column and creates the dot. Now I'm going to use the keyboard Alt-EAA to remove everything. right? And I'm going to start in this cell right here. Now notice, I'm going to highlight all of the cells. I'm holding the Control key so I can select areas not next to each other. And I'm going to create my formula in that cell right there. Now I can create the formula here, and when I Control enter it'll populate into all the cells. All right, so the idea is I need to for this one to look up this column here. Check this out. We're going to use the index function equals index. Index is a lookup function that usually looks up a value based on one condition or two conditions. But here for the array, I'm going to give it all of the values, F4 key to lock it, and I'm going to look up the column, meaning the whole column, comma. The way this is going to work is we're going to give it a row number and a column number. Well, not really. Think about it. If I'm looking up a column, I want column 1, 2, or 3. But for quiz 3, I want a 3 to go into the column num argument. But for row number, what do I want? I want all the rows. So the way you do that is you put a 0 or leave it omitted. So I'm going to omit it. Now the column number is easy. I simply use match. Match can look up an item like quiz 3 and return the relative position. Now I'm going to give match this range right here. So it's going to either be 1, 2, or 3, which is column 1, 2, or 3. Now I have to be careful about this quiz 3. If you look right here, when I copy it this direction, it needs to be locked on quiz 3. But when it copies up from Control Enter, it needs to move up across the rows. So I'm going to hit the F4 key 1, 2, 3 times. I'm locking the column, so this way it's locked on D. But when it gets copied up, it'll know to move to then to row 5 and row 2, comma. Now the lookup array is simply the quiz is locked in all directions, F4, comma. I'm going to do exact match because I'm looking up a word, close parentheses. Now notice, that's going to deliver a 1, 2, or 3, depending on if it's here for 3, here for 2, here for 1. And then that omitted will always just say, hey, give me all the rows. So that's how you get index to look up a column. Now I'm going to come to the end, close parentheses, and I'm going to use Control Enter to populate it through all the cells. Number now it's going to give me a value error, but no problem. I'm going to come to the end and break my uh, highlighting non-contiguous ranges and hit F2. And highlight this and hit the F9 key, because I want to check and see if it got quiz 3. Man, it looks like it got quiz 3. How about right here? Highlight, F9. Sure enough, it got quiz 2. Escape, and then up here, highlight F9. Looks like it got 8, 0. That is amazing. So it looks like our formula is looking up the right column. Now I'm going to click Escape and highlight again. Broop. Holding Control, Broop. holding Control. Now I have the active cell, F2. Now that range is going to go into count ifs. The criteria range, that's it. Comma to get to criteria. And it's actually going to be, and I'm going to move this screen tip. It's going to be relative cell reference. Notice there's the active cell, so I click there. Close parentheses. And again, I'm going to Control Enter to populate that formula throughout all of the ranges. That is amazing. So if I go up here, sure enough, it is for the criteria range. F9 key, it's got 641, so it looks like it's got the right column. I'm going to escape because I have that hard coded in. And if I hit Enter, it would hard code it. But escape gets me back to where the formula was before. Now the rest of this 
we're going to hold control to highlight that ranges. By the way, if I wasn't like trying to d reveal concepts, I would have just built the whole formula and then control enter. But I'm trying to look at each step. F2. Now we're going to use count ifs inside the repeat function. It wants the text to repeat, double quote, asterisk, double quote. That's the text, comma, and number of times. That is our count if formula that's looking up the right column. Come to the end, close parentheses, and Control Enter to populate it all the way through. Control 1 to open up format cells. Alignment, I'm going to say, hey, give me vertical. Font, I'm going to highlight bold, 14, red, and no way. Click OK. There is the dot plot, all with. Instead of highlighting individual ranges, that index to look up a column. All right, we'll see you next trick.